Hi guys, it's Lizzie McFadden and welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I've sat down with you guys. It's a much needed catch up. And so today I just wanted to hop on here and do a little Q&A. I feel like a lot's happened and so we need to just catch up on it. Um, I asked you guys over on my Instagram, which is right here if you don't follow me and you guys want to participate in future Q&As, that's where I normally do it, um, just to ask me questions on my stories, and a lot of you guys responded with some questions, and so we're just going to go through as many as we can and catch up! It's been a minute, and if you guys want to talk in the comments some more, let's do it. I miss you guys. I feel like I've just been vlogging and going 100 miles a minute, and it's nice to just sit down and talk with you guys. So, um, one of the first questions is my top three favorite restaurants in New York City. Um, this is really hard, but if I had to pick, I guess, like, at the moment where I've been going the most, I'll try and do, like, a variety of, like, different food places because if I was really giving my top three, it'd probably be all pasta places, which that's not very helpful to you guys if you don't like pasta. So. First, we'll start with an Italian restaurant. It's called Misi, M-I-S-I, and it's in Brooklyn on the water. It's very pretty, everything about it is great. It's like a nice, fancier restaurant, but the dishes are also just absolutely amazing. They make like this whipped ricotta toast, and it's to die for. The pastas are so good. The ice cream is amazing. The ambiance of the restaurant is 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. I also really love a restaurant called Balthazar, which is like a classic French restaurant and um, it just always hits, like it all, you know it's always gonna be good. I get the steak and it's amazing. 10 out of 10, always just like a solid choice. You know it won't do you wrong. Um, my third favorite restaurant would have to be, I really can't pick, but I'll just name a few. I like Thursday Kitchen, which is like an Asian fusion type restaurant. I love um, La Esquina, which is Mexican food. I love Jack's Wife Frida. I love Cafe Select. And what else do I love? There's a restaurant called Lupa, which is also another Italian spot that's super yummy. Um, and Little Frankie's, another really good Italian spot. Um, yeah, if you guys want to know more food places, that's all my sister's gig, Ella Rose McFadden. If you don't follow her, shout out my sister. She has a food blog called Art of Foods where she has a whole map of her favorite restaurants in the city, so go check that out. She's way better at that than me. Someone asked if I'm dating Sam. No, we are just very good friends, but love you, Sam. What are you most excited for this fall? I think I'm very excited just to like chill out. I feel like this summer was hectic, like everything was reopening and like everyone was so excited to like be back out and about and it was just like over simulated. So I'm excited to just chill out, I'm excited for fall outfits and trends and layering and to do all like the fun little holiday things because I do really love like Thanksgiving, Halloween and Christmas and like decorating and stuff. You guys can't tell. I don't think I have anything. I'll show you right here. My grandma sent me like Halloween decorations. So I already put those on up. But I love the holidays and like just getting festive. Best shoes to walk around in in New York City. I recently just got Salomons, which are literal like hail, hail, trail hiking shoes. Um, so those are honestly very, very comfortable and they're coming into trend. So. I would say hiking shoes, Salomons, they're great. Current favorite stores to shop at. Um, I'm assuming this is in person, so I'll give you guys some of my favorite in-person stores to shop at in New York City. Um, it normally is thrift. There's a store called Purcell, which is like high-end designer thrift. So it is on the expensive side, but all the pieces are very amazing in there. Like, you know, you're gonna want every single piece when you go in. It's not like a whole, you have to dig and search to find things. Um, but there is always a win in there. Um, I love to go to Brooklyn to thrift and go to Tim Foot Single, Stella Dallas, Urban Jungle, L Train, Beacon's Closet. Um, and then there's a store called Extra Butter um, in Lower East Side in New York, which is more like a smaller locally owned version of Kith, which I love because why not support a smaller brand when you can? Um, and their stuff is all super cool. They have like smaller designers in there as well as like really cool like kit hype 
type of things. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like that's my top few for in Manhattan and in New York City. What are your plans for the future? What type of industry would you like to work in? So right now I'm honestly just going with the flow. Um, obviously trying to grow my social medias and just have fun, continue what I'm doing because I do love to create content for you guys. Um, and I'm also in college, so it has been a little bit of a challenge balancing those as we're back in person, but not too bad as I expected. I'm able to manage both and yeah, it's going good so far. Um, as far as the future, I am studying entrepreneurship and marketing, so I do hope to start my own company when I graduate. Um, as to what industry it's in, I'll let you guys guess, but it's not fashion, but it's kind of close to it, so I'm very excited. Stay tuned and tears. Boots and jackets for fall 21. This is kind of fun because I'm wearing some great boots right now. These are from Mista. I love these. Um, they have great boots on there. I also just got a few sweaters and jackets from Stussy. Their fall collection was very good. Um, yeah, I need to invest in like a good puffer. So honestly, if you guys know, let me know. I just didn't realize how expensive they were. Like Montclair, obviously, which is like a very nice brand, but like, how are they selling those jackets for $2,000? I don't get it. I just need to stay warm. So if you guys have any good like little dupes or something for that, let me know. I'm in need. It's getting cold soon and I'm just not going to be prepared. Someone asked what my typical day is like and I would say I normally get up, make coffee, and either get ready to go to class or get ready to shoot a video, model, make content, something along those lines. Um, and then it normally ends with me coming home, doing some work on my computer or going to a coffee shop, I love to do that because sometimes staying inside isn't as motivating for me. Um, and then I go to bed. I've recently been watching Squid Game on Netflix, which I'm not a big TV person, but everyone and their moms is watching that show right now, so I figured I had to. Um, and I'm not, I'm indifferent. I don't know if I, like, I'm watching and I'm wanting, I keep wanting to watch the next episode, but I'm not positive that I totally love the show. So. We'll see, but it's enough to keep me entertained. So a lot of you guys ask like advice for college students, how to make friends in college in your 20s, um, and just a lot of college related questions, especially as far as New York City, which isn't a very typical college experience. There's not like Greek life and not a typical college campus setup, so it is definitely harder to meet people. Um, and what I would say, my biggest advice, is just not being afraid to go up and ask and talk to people, which I learned the hard way because my freshman year I would see so many girls and so many guys that I was like, wow, they seem really cool. Like I could see myself being such good friends with them. Like they have cool style or what they're talking about in class, like something that I'm also interested in. And I just wouldn't act on it, which is so dumb because I've learned since then that like most of the times other people are looking for friends too. Who doesn't want new friends? The more the merrier. Um, and so just go up, put yourself out there, ask them to get coffee, um, be open to new opportunities and making new friends and going out. Um, you'll, you won't regret it. There's always a learning lesson in there or a new friend. So put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to be yourself. The worst that can happen is they say no and then it's their loss. So sucks for them. Tips on breakup glow up. Um, so I would say if you are going through a breakup, just focus on yourself. Like do everything that you wish you could have done during the relationship. Put all of your energy into yourself. It is not selfish. Dye your hair, cut it, pick up a new outfit, and um, get a good solid group of friends around you that you can maybe distract yourself with and have fun to take your mind off it and then the rest is all happens with time and you'll see that. Um, I know it kind of sucks, but we all come out of relationships with a new lesson or we know what we don't want to look for in the next one and just try and look on the bright side of things because I think relationships happen for a reason. I'm not necessarily one of those people that are like, oh, everything happens for a reason, but I think relationships, we can all take some sort of lesson out of them, whether it be good or bad, and it prepares us for future. Tips on confidence. So I remember I talked about this on a QA and a on my Instagram about, I think almost a year ago now, but I will say this until the day I die, 
no one knows yourself better than you and along with that no one cares about how they look more than themselves so if you're ever embarrassed about something just know it is like standing out in the most significant to you like no one else is thinking about it as hard as you are i don't know if these words are coming out correctly but you know yourself better than anyone else so who is someone else to tell you that oh that's weird oh whatever that is that they're saying like you know in here your worth and who you are and if you are okay with it and you feel confident and you know you're being a good person then fuck everyone else that wants to tell you otherwise because they're obviously have an insecurity or a jealousy issue or just want to bring other people down to put themselves up and you just really need to be your own self-analyzer, self-evaluator and as long as you're not causing harm to others then what the fuck? Who cares? We're all just living life. We don't really all- we, no one knows what they're doing. Like, just be yourself. And you only got one life, so what are you doing if you're not being yourself? Like, don't waste it. How do I edit my photos? I literally just use the photo camera app and like in my camera roll and I just adjust like exposure, contrast, highlights, saturation, warmth, and sharpness. Those are the only things I use. Super easy. I like to keep it pretty natural. I was a big like visco girl like five years ago. Those days are over. Someone said, how's school? It's very good. I'm so happy to be back in person and I really love all of my classes this semester. So 10 out of 10, I'm honestly loving school. I, I get like excited to go. It's like a whole experience in New York and I'm meeting new friends in class, which is very organic and I love that. So it's great. Thanks for asking. Favorite thing about living alone? I love living alone. I will never go back to not living alone. Um, it's the best thing ever because I always, I was scared I was gonna be lonely but you just FaceTime people, it's really not that bad. Um, and I can do whatever I want when I want. I play music at 3 a.m. when I come home and I shower and no one's gonna get mad at me. And I order food at whatever hour I like and I do whatever I want when I want, so I love it. Also, I'm very clean and organized, so everything stays in the right spot, which is the best part for me. <laughs> and I share my sh Spotify. Um, let me see what it is. I think it's just my name though, Lucy McFadden, L-U-C-Y-M-C-F-A-D-I-N. Wait, M-C, yeah, I think that's right. Um, that's my Spotify and I have a pretty good playlist, so check it out. Someone asked my finger about my finger tattoo. Guys, it's gonna come off, I promise. But I was at a Rag and Bone event and they were giving out free tattoos like little flash tats and so Ruby and I were like let's get a finger tattoo and so I got like this tooth and she got a safety pin hers is already halfway off it's been like three weeks mine's like fading away I'm sure this will like completely focus I think this will be completely gone in like a month if not I'm getting it lasered off because this looks like a squid but yeah we got free flash tats at a rag and bone event and immediately regretted it so <laughs> you live and you learn but i also got this one this one is really cute this one was done more professionally from kyle england on instagram it's these three little bows do you have any traveling goals yes so next summer well actually right before covid happened i was supposed to go abroad with nyu um, through one of their programs and I was supposed to spend three weeks in Berlin learning about history and modernity and unfortunately that got cancelled obviously so I'm hoping to do that next summer um, and then perhaps stay in Europe after that and kind of bounce around um, and sublease my apartment during the summer here I would love that so that would be my traveling goals hopefully it happens I'm gonna work towards it but sounds really amazing because I went to Italy a month ago and we kind of hopped around Italy but to be able to do that all over Europe sounds like a dream what's my height I am 5 4 I believe um someone asked what I'm studying I've answered this like a thousand times but for the new people on here I go to Gallatin school at NYU someone's blasting music on my street I go to Gallatin at NYU, which if you don't know what that is, it's the School of Individualized Study where you get to design your own major, and I'm studying entrepreneurship and marketing through the lens of aesthetics and beauty. That's my formal name for it. It sounds super fancy, but it's not that crazy, I promise. One said, are you ever scared to dramatically change your hair or get a tattoo, or is it all just fun? Um, I feel like the answer is pretty obvious on that. I do new hair, new tattoos, like 
to put this into perspective, I got my first tattoo in March or April, and it's now September, and I think I have like 11. And not like little small ones, like I feel like I have ones that you can see pretty well. But, um, no. I don't like life is too short if you want to do something do it you only have one life one body if you want to decorate it if you want to change your hair do it and if it looks bad change it back or if the tattoo looks bad that kind of may stick with you for the rest of your life unless you want to get it lasered off but who cares I feel like it's just not that deep like it really isn't so I say you got one body may as well decorate it my dad would disagree though <laughs> Someone asked how I'm balancing school with work. Um, and so I did, at NYU, you get to like pick your own class schedule. So I picked Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so I've left Tuesday and Thursday as more like days for my work. So that's how I'm currently doing it. And it's working so far. We shall see if I can make it out this semester alive. But that's what's currently working for me. My zodiac sign, I am a Pisces sun, Aquarius moon, Cancer rising. Tell me what that means in the comments. I know a little bit, and I think I align with it pretty well, but if you guys want to tell me anything else, I would love to hear. I love reading about astrology and like my sign in particular because I just think it's an interesting perspective. Whether you believe in it or not, it's just like a cool perspective to look at yourself through. Where are you from originally? I am from Newport Beach, California. Advice for new people moving to New York City. Um, I would say this aligns to what I said before, just don't be scared to go to new opportunities and meet new people and put yourself out there. Everyone's in the same boat, um, so just don't be afraid to put yourself out there and talk to people. Conversations are the best, like even if you're just on the subway, talk to the person next to you. You'll learn something, I promise. Fall fashion staples this season. High over the knee boots, leather pants, a vest, a beret and there's something i need to get i need to get like a funky pair of boots um and then just like honestly things for layering so like turtlenecks vests outerwear some ties i'm getting into those they've been around but like i think i was a little bit scared to try them at first but i just ordered my first one this week so I'm trying to go for like a dirty French girl vibe this fall and winter. We'll see if I can accomplish. Someone said, where do you get your hair cut? You're my hair, hair inspo. I go to Mads Hair and Tina and sometimes Jason. They go, are all at Mia Wagner Salon. And if you want to see them, you can call Mia Wagner Salon and try and book them. They're the best. Dream team. Um, someone asked to show my new tattoos, but I also have another appointment next Friday, um, and I feel like I'd rather just dedicate a whole video to that, so if you guys are interested in maybe coming with me to get tattoos or like a tattoo tour or anything like that, like going into maybe the meaning of them or just talking about why I got them, um, let me know in the comments because that's something I would be interested, interested in filming for you guys. You're so gorgeous. OMG, what's your music taste? You're gorgeous! Um, music taste, you can, I gave my Spotify, go check it out. I have a playlist called Inside My AirPods and it ranges from everything. Um, and I'm pretty proud of it. I think there's some great songs on there. I listen to it every day, so check it out. Go to sneakers, Adidas, Sambas. Do I struggle with anxiety or FOMO? Um, I feel like I used to really struggle with FOMO. I don't anymore, especially in New York. There's always something happening. There's always going to be something you're missing. And there's always going to be something you can do tomorrow. So who cares? Never really going to miss anything too important. Um, anxiety, crippling. Um, but we're working on it. We're learning how to control it. Um, I think it definitely was worse in my later years of high school. And I've learned to how to cope with it. It's definitely still there, but there's ways to control it, and that's all thanks to my therapist. So, anxiety sucks, but a lot of us have it. Did you get vaccinated? Yes, I did, and you should too. So, someone asked for my current skincare routine. Also, let me know if you guys would want a morning and a nighttime routine because I haven't filmed one of those in so long. I feel like those are like my beginning YouTube days, and I'd love to film another updated one for you guys. Um, Right now, I've just been using the Aesop Skincare Parsley Seed like kit. It has a toner, a serum, a moisturizer, and eye cream. 
and it's made my skin actually so healthy and so glowing and it makes it look just very smooth when I put it on in the morning and like awake which I need because I'm always sleep deprived um, but that's my go-to right now how many tattoos do I have now and what is my favorite one I have one two three four five six seven eight nine I think I have nine my car is my favorite one. It's my second one I ever got in. It's a 1990 Ferrari Testarossa done by Dima. He's done mainly all my tattoos um, and it has a significant meaning to me and that's why I like it. Also, he's very good at doing cars and I think it looks cool. Someone said, are you currently in a relationship? I am in a relationship with myself and it's the best thing ever. Or lifer. <laughs> Someone said, do you dress to express yourself or do you dress to look good? Both. But I think mainly I dress to express myself and then it ends up looking good. <laughs> like the priority is obviously, it just reflects my mood. Like I think I dress very eclectically um, and my style is changing all the time, especially if you look at pictures from a year ago that is terrifying. I was so like California girl and I think New York has really helped evolve my style, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but yeah, I just dress reflective off my mood, especially today, I'm having like a fun day. I have really fun plans after this to go to like Central Park and do robots, and so I just wanted to be colorful and fun, and that's what we did. I'm also wearing a blue purse. So follow me on Instagram so you guys can see my outfits because I feel like they're very reflective of my mood. And if you see me in all black, send me warm wishes <laughs> okay we'll do one more question and then I'll sign off for you guys if not New York City where would I want to live so I do not see myself living in America when I'm like grown and like settling down I like my dream is to travel the world and have babies and have them travel the world homeschool them and just have them be very like cultural cultured and grounded and learn about other things because I think you can learn so much more from traveling than the typical American uh, education system. I almost said college, but babies don't go to college. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's my dream. I would really like to live in the Netherlands. I've never even been to the Netherlands. It just sounds cool and it sounds like it is perfect for me. Um, or Italy or just hop around Europe or Australia or New Zealand. I really don't care. <laughs> I just don't really want to live in America. Um, so that were, it would be if it wasn't New York. But I would love to have like a place in New York maybe and have it be like home base. I don't know, we're dreaming big here. I gotta save up some money for all these dreams, but in a perfect world, that's where I see myself. Um, the idea of like a suburb and a white picket fence kind of terrifies me, even though that was my experience growing up and I'm very grateful for it. I think it was, was very fun, but it was very safe and bubble-like and I think I want a new experience from that um, but yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed um, if you guys want to continue conversation then comments leave them below I love you guys as always and I wish I could hug every single one of you um, tell your best friend they you love them and give someone a compliment on the street today okay love you guys